Craig, so tell us, you guys have this ubiquitous flash player. Everybody uses it. The penetration is massive. Why are you introducing this new player? One area up until this point that we didn't have a solution for was on the desktop in a disconnected environment where you could play flash video back, uh, whether you're connected or disconnected. So the Adobe Media Player really expands our overall video ecosystem and allows um, publishers, advertisers, and developers to now reach viewers and consumers on the desktop uh, when they're disconnected, when they're on a plane, when they're traveling, they can still play back Flash video. What are the opportunities now for advertising in Flash with the new player? We've also uh, added something so that you can actually cache ads so that a, a publisher can, can determine that certain ads will be cached in the player. And then if that user goes offline and they, they're traveling, they're on a plane, uh, those ads are then pulled from the cached uh, area and displayed as, uh, in relation to the content. So now what publishers can do is they can actually monetize their content uh, in a disconnected environment as well as sort of the connected. Just to, to highlight here that this is a, a desktop application. So I can go ahead and double click uh, like I would any desktop op application. And what you see is the Adobe Media Player open up. I'll go ahead and click on some content but what you'll see here is, is uh, advertising that comes up inside the player. Uh, so what you'll see here is video on video advertising. Uh, a woman that was done with a green screen uh, comes in and is overlaid dynamically on top of the video. These are also clickable or not clickable. So what you're seeing here is Mind and Mencia comes up. I actually may roll over on the jacket. I get a highlight on that jacket. And then I can go ahead and go down to the jacket and actually click on the jacket and it comes up to a buying experience and it stops the actual video. Tell us a little about the calendar now. What, what, when will we start? When will we see the player? Who's going to use it first? Or what kinds of companies? Or tell, I, I know a lot of people are very anxious to see this thing. Uh, you'll see uh, late June, you'll see first alpha release that's available to the public. Our view in terms of development and release time, uh, time frame even beyond that is uh, very aggressive with uh, you know, just aggressive release schedule. You'll see several releases a year uh, in terms of updates and enhancements.